Hey, welcome back guys. So let's carry on from where we left off. There's something I noticed though. Um let's see if we can so I downloaded some more reference images to help a bit with this. So this is something with mine. You can see because this, this is AI generated, so I don't completely trust the hairstyle, but it's still good reference kind of use though. So I downloaded some realistic real life references for this. And I noticed that on this side, <clears throat> on this side, we need the hairs to be a bit closer to the skin. So if I look at mine, from this we can see how it's popping out. It's popping out way too much. It's supposed to be very, very close to the skin. So we need to fix that. So a way to fix that would be to go to review the guides again, turn of the hair, turn of the hair for this. Oh yes, we also increase the length. So review this again. Should probably take down the length for this. Let's do let's let's do something. One point five. Let's try one point. Nah. Thing two is fine. I'm just going to. I'm just going to push this closer to the skin. Mm, this is too big. Okay. Let me put this here instead. Select all of this. I believe this should set. Let's go the other side. Then with our sculpt brush, closer. Up again, let's see what we have. Okay, this is closer, except for this one down here. So let's go in there and select that. Hold on, control, control and shift and select more of this. Select this also. Okay. What I'm going to do is this. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to deselect, deselect this, and I'm going to delete delete this from this side. Delete this. Okay. Then mirror this to the other side. I believe. I believe is all of this. Okay. So again, let's see what we have. Yeah, this is much. This is much better. 
except we need to do this for the other parts also uh crap i think there's some weirdness happening around here that we need to fix a lot of fixing though a lot of fixing This needs to be quite closer. Oh, great. <clears throat> it's completely fine though. They are just, like I said initially in the previous lesson, you keep making iterations to this until it looks good enough. Huh. Sadly, what we do in one part doesn't affect the other side. Sadly, that would have made the work a whole lot faster and easier for all of us. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these bits we need to adjust. Okay. Um just to make this a bit faster, I'm just going to delete <clears throat> Deselect this part and delete what is here. Select this bit. <clears throat> Okay, this closer. So you more or less want to kind of grab it from the tip. Okay. Okay. Now we need to redo the density max. Density max is still where it is. I think I would select all of this. I'll delete that then we can grab I believe all of this let's select this piece 
let me mirror this to the other side something feels off delete this let's run this one more time Perfect amen. Yeah, this is fine. Yes, this, this is accurate enough. I think we have a good balance with this now. Yes, so that's the quick save. Right, so let's go to the top part of the hair. I wish I was able to see the center of this, but that's, that's completely fine. I can always think I won't be using this as my main reference. Using this as my main reference instead. Okay. So to do that, we need to create a new... Um... to create a new description for this so come in here create description oh sorry make sure you select the scalp make sure the scalp is selected then it should be on this collection for header collections and this is going to be the um center underscore head Hair underscore DSC DESC description spline randomly across surface placing and shipping guide that's what we want. We want this to be in the same head air collection. So click on this. So let's come in here. So if you notice now in this collection now, you can see them as groups under here. Descript descriptions are like subgroups underneath this main collection group. So this is here. So it also you are also selected. So you can see the two now. So you want to make sure you're on the center head here. Very important. Uh, let's go to preview. Turn this off. I also think right off the bat, we should also adjust this. We should, we should also adjust the settings also. So what we are doing, <clears throat> so what we do just kind of reflects immediately on it, then we kind of generate as. What is this? Uh... Okay, never knew I great. I uh, have uh, modified this that we are not supposed to. Yes, everything is back in here now. Copy. Paste this in here. It's more or less the same repetitive process. Copy. Paste. All right, so <clears throat> um, okay, this is fine. Just put this around here. Okay, and I'll go back to 
I'll go back to the but okay. Before I do that, before I go back, before I go back to the other first description, let's just add let's just add one strand. Let's start from let me just get this in front like this. I can talk, I kind of get the directional flow of this. Just drop something in there. No. <clears throat> Scale this out very much. Something like that should be fine. Okay. I'll just leave that there for now. Then I'll go back <clears throat> to the back side description. I only need to turn off the visibility of the air guides. I still want to see the hairs. I still want to see the hairs in here. As it is, I want to see them. Okay, the only thing I need to, I, I, don't, I just need this to kind of help me visualize where where this uh, actually ends, so I can actually begin to use this, use this as a guide. It's kind of block out the hair head on the hair on the center of the head. So let's go back in here. A quick save. Oh. I think I'm going to select this. I need to. Uh, let's see. Let's. I don't know. Maybe five. Five. Um. What's it called? Okay. This should be on. Let me put this on that instead. So currently, our guide points are like are five. So let's see. Let's see if we can make this work. So let's start with the tip. Okay, this height, let me see. Um, scale this out some more. Okay. So we have <clears throat> we have something that goes like that goes somewhat, somewhat like so. <clears throat> no. Yes, we need more points. We definitely need more points. So we definitely need more points to kind of capture capture the curve properly. So let's build this. We're going to be using heat for this. Then go back in here. We should have more points now to work with. Mm, this is something. Okay. No. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. An S curve shape around this. <clears throat> but I want to kind of <clears throat> make that in almost all views, though. Very important. Leave this up a bit. Okay, this is fine. Uh, um, let's create another. Reach a point as far as around here. Then I'm going to select this copy guide. Select this guide. Now you want to kind of go very close to it so you can see the options properly. Paste guide. But this 
I'm going to rebuild this to eight points in there. Is there a way to kind of set this just to be on eight? Uh, normalize. You normalize just kind of evenly spread out the points across this uh, guide. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So the main idea is to block out, block this out like we previously saw. So I think I will just go across and add more points in specific regions. Okay. Put one year, one year, one year, one year, one, one year. Okay, it should be fine then. Let's go in there and adjust each of them specifically. Okay, let's select this dude, scale that out. No, okay, let's, let me select everything. Select, select this piece. Select this also. Start by scaling them out like so. Maybe some more. And rebuild the CV count on them to eight. Then hit normalize. All right, so <clears throat> so the flow is kind of pushing towards this direction. It means pushing towards the direction. So, um, okay. Select this piece. Get this like so. Select this. Get this. Get this should be dash. Okay, more or less like so. <clears throat> okay. Select this. This may not even be our final adjustment to it, but we're just trying to block something in there for now. Select this dude. I think this one needs to be pretty long. Make sure we're kind of capturing that direction of flow to it. Okay, yeah, this is more or less like it. Let's just get this facing down some more like this. Okay. I think I'll select select this. Scale this out some more. Okay. Mm. 
kind of buried this on the Alexo. Scale this out some more. Need to okay, get this like so. Okay, this out some more. Let's get this pointing downwards like so. So it looks good on the top view, on the side view, maybe not so much. Okay, I'm gonna provide something like this should work. Pull this far out like this. Yeah, it looks it looks weird in this view. Let's try and get a nice flow to it. Okay. Okay, it doesn't have to be extremely perfect though, we just need to get something in there. In the top view. <clears throat> Bend this over some more. Let's get a push of curve around here, like so. <clears throat> I think this, this particular one, I need to doesn't feel or look right yet. Yeah, maybe something like that should be fine. Okay. To scale this out some more. Let's get the top view for this. All right. Push this down some more. Let's get an S shape around this. Okay. I think I can easily copy this now. Copy, select this, paste. Okay. Get no. Get this like so. Select this. Scale this out some more. Always make sure you're saving, guys. Make sure you're saving. Okay. I think I can no. Just trying to get a pinch of curve around this. Then I can think I can copy this, copy this.
copy paste obviously we are going to need some airs around here but right now i'm just trying to get the shape in there first Not entirely sure where this should be though. This shape here is not can I can't actually tell what the precise shape that's actually in there, but let's let's see if we can if we can make something work out of that. Seems to be slightly lower, like so. Okay. Alright, I think this should work. So, okay, I will still have one more. This piece here. Okay, get this down. So let's just let's run a quick test. Let's see. Let's quick save. Let's generate some airs on top of this. Let's see what we have. Okay. We're getting something nonetheless, but probably maybe I think the length of this is a bit much. This side is let's see if we can select everything that has to do to the frontal part of this, scale this back. Okay, let's see if we can, can make this work. We want to let to do this to add some shorter airs around, around these parts. So, um, let's add some curve. Let's drop one year, one year. Scale that down a bit more. Let's bring it out some more, like so. Okay, let's run this again. I think I need to push the height of this at the top, bring them down some more. them down some more okay okay we need some obvious strong shape around the air 
around this part to kind of get some tighter directionality to it. Okay. But you want to be extremely careful though, you don't want to go overboard. So let's add one year, one year, one year, one year, or one year. Huh. There's an A in between, there's an A pushing down. This A is pushing down, where is this? Get this out. Let's run this again. Trying to make sure the directionality of this is as close as possible. This I'll need to push some more towards this direction. This I'll need to push push towards the direction like so. Okay, let's 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 just leave this as our base. Let's leave this as our base. So now we need to draw paint out. Paint where this should grow out from. So we need to create a density max for this. So let's go in there and create a density max. So create map. <clears throat> Fill this with black. Name this to center. 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 Okay. Underscore head. Uh, D E N. S underscore max okay center at a density max creates decide the heads for now mm, a painting painting full white we're using the solid brush for this and we need to <clears throat> think i need a smaller brush size something like this okay Yeah, around here should be fine. Okay. I think here should be fine. Then let's get this. Okay. 
take down the brush size <clears throat> can you see more precise around here okay so let's save texture save the texture here also Assign texture, let's use Assign texture Save texture Okay I believe this should work, so now let me go into the Backside a description So you can hide hide this for now. Let's just deal with this instead. Okay. Let's go back to the center head A. Save this again. Think I'll hide this. I need to create um we need one hair around here. Probably scale this out some more on Kind of push this towards this region like this. Okay, we increase the length some more. Select this, increase the length some more. bit more okay let's run this again let's see what we have okay Let's hide this for now. Need to make some individual changes to this. Okay. Think I may need to. Select this, scale this out some more. Kind of push this towards this direction, like so. Okay. Select this. I feel I need one A around here. But we want to be careful, we don't want to go to do to add too much, then it becomes very, very hard to control. So, extreme carefulness is needed in here. You only add it when it's completely and absolutely necessary. Do a quick save. So, now before we continue, let's add, let's add a crumbling modifier to this. Modifier, clump modifier. But for this, I'm going to use an extremely low value. So let's try 0 0.2. Put this around 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Generates. 
Okay, this might be too small though. Let's put this on 0 0.4 generates. Let's let's see how this does. So save. Okay. I think this this number should work. This number should work. Um, I think there's nothing I need to do. I select all of this. I think I will just scale, pull them up a bit more. Run this again. Scale this up. Not sure if this is, this is a good idea though, but let's see. Now let's scale them out all at once. Let's check this from the side view. <clears throat> Select all of this. Give them up a bit more. Uh, I think we can make this work. We can make this work. We just need a bit more air on top of this, so let's try 80. Okay. But I think I need some crossover is so many that those kind of crossover that kind of intertwines in between themselves. Uh, S, um, okay. Let's generate more as out of. Modifiers. Set up. Generates hmm. okay. Um, let's go in here. I think I'll leave this up some more. Okay. Not too tight though. Probably something. Just looking for a good number for this. Yeah, there's okay, there's something there's something in there which will delete. 
Let's delete this. Uh, I'm just trying to look for a good number for this. Delete this. Delete this. Yeah, something pretty much like so should be fine. <clears throat> Come back in here. Let's try 50. Run this again. Come set up map. Generate. Save. <clears throat> Okay. Let's drop another clone clumping in here. Set up map. Generate. Save. Let's see what we have. I think this thing is confusing us. This um guides are confusing us let's hide those guides for now <clears throat> okay we need to make some adjustments to this we're breaking this up i think we need to i guess let's see if we can Uh, crap and do that. Okay. Delete this. Let's see what happens when we raise this up. Now I need to get this tighter. Let's broken up like this. Spacing out, space out the roots. No, I think the roots is way spaced out way too much. Okay. Trying to get something a bit more interesting in here. Let's get a beta flow around the air. Let's look for something that works very well. Let's 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 leave it like this first. Let's leave this like this first, and let's let's grab a noise in here. Noise should break this up. Um, I think I'll go back to the clumping one. Let's see. Put this at eight. Maybe even one. Let's try one.
Yes, I think trying to get a good value for this. I see some issues around there. I need to push this down at least for the gay guides, but not now. Though. I'll do that. Let's just let's see. Let's just do it now. Let's do it now. Since we're here already, let's just do it now. So, all of this, no, push this down some more. Just me trying to make individual corrections to these guides now. It's just a back and forth thing, though. just a back and forth thing. You just have to go in there and keep adjusting and figure out what works. I think this guy is here. Scale them. Mm. Not sure to say this scaling is what we need though. <clears throat> Maybe extra guides around here. I think I'm beginning to feel I'm adding too many guides, but let's but let's just let's just do that. See so we can get more definition out of this. So that will help us get some more definition. So this is going to be like more or less like the crossover guides. They will kind of intertwine between other guys on top of this. Yeah, a lot of corrections to be made. Let's see this from the front view. I know that this this I need to bring. I can't adjust this here. Oh well. Get this down. It is down. It is down even in the air like so. I think this piece I would bend this over. I think that's way too much. Let's get this bent over like so. In here, to be like another cross over piece. Mm, I think the height in here, something doesn't look completely right.
There is a gap in between here that I'm missing. There's a gap in between here. So mess needs to stand up a bit more like this. This one looks like it's going up way too much. Let's get this down like so. Run this again. Okay, we're getting something. Oh, <laughs> just a disclaimer, I'm not really a groomer, a groomer, a grooming artist, but just trying to get something that looks somewhat good enough to work with. So if I make some, if you're a groomer and you're watching this tutorial and you're wondering, why is this guy doing this this way? Oh, disclaimer, I'm not an actual grooming artist, so I'm just trying to make something that looks good enough to work with maybe not entirely or absolutely accurate but at least good enough to work with mm -hmm. okay So yeah, I think let's let's leave this for now. Run this again. Do a quick save. Uh, for this noise, you need to randomize this noise. Need to randomize this noise. One, I don't want the noise all over the place. Need to get this randomized. So. Um. Let's see. Let me copy this. Let's see what this gives us. Let's set this for the max. Okay. That looks interesting. Let's do zero to zero point five. Uh, I'm not too. Really, I'm not very happy with the compondo. Looking for a good value. For a good value. Lower five. The idea is to let me just see if I can explain this properly. Let me see if I can explain this properly. So you guys kind of get an idea why I'm changing this. Can I draw? Can I draw over this?
So you go to this now, you can see like a large clump here, and another large clump here, another large clump here, large clump here. Like almost like large clump like that 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 are kind of countable. So now I'm using I'm using um I'm using this clump in all one to kind of get a countable number of clumps on top of this before breaking it up with my clump too. So that's why I'm kind of using this virus to kind of find a good number of countable clumps on top of this as a as a, as a base before adding broken up columns on top of it. Let me go lower. Let me still go lower. Let me still go lower. Three. Okay. Countable clones, but uh, let's let's turn this from into in the let's see what we have. Yes, now we're getting something. We can see some large clones, but let's let's still go. Let's turn this off. Let's still go slightly lower again. So, input this to one. Generates. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's break this up. So we can actually count them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if I should go a bit lower than this. Maybe going lower than this might look begin to look a bit weird. Yeah, something is supposed to wound, it's supposed to blow off the edges for this. So I've not done that. Let's let's go. Let's see. Let's can we do can we do let's try one. Okay, you can see how the group the group gets even smaller. The group gets even smaller. But uh, so now I'm thinking the value for this should be in between one or two. What do you guys think? In between one or two seems like Seems like a workable value. Can we do? Can we even do a zero points? No. Okay. Uh, five. Zero point fifteen. Okay. I feel like I should still add one more clump to this. Can I duplicate this? Oh, I can duplicate. Then go in the double this. Let's put this around five. Generates. Save. Yeah, that's, that's even that even breaks it even more. That breaks it even more, which is looking good. Let's turn on our noise. Yeah, yeah, this is looking more interesting. This feels more or less like it's. Yeah, yeah this, feels, this feels more. This feels more like it's. This feels more like it. Let me just do a quick save. Okay. All right, so um, so let's make some adjustment for the for this noise frequency. Copy this. Drop this in here.
let's try this magnitude okay let's try let's put this at a value of one zero to one Yeah, I think that feels Yeah, that feels, that feels, this feels a lot, this feels better huh. Feels better Except for one thing though, this is You can see the gaps in between You can see large gaps in between here, yeah, I need to fix I need to fix that So, I will add this, let's review this let's see where those gaps are coming from most likely this this three scale that scale them down from this again let's see what we have that doesn't seem to be fixing it Generate save. Generate save. Generate. Generate save. Wait a minute, that just completely ruins everything, sir. No. Fantastic. Now, can't even go back. No, this doesn't look... It's not looking good. We had it before. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Um, It's be too much. <clears throat> Take this down some more. Uh, crap, something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. Um, I want to slim this down. I need to slim this down. No.
Let's see. Oh man. Forgive me guys, I feel I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'm just gonna get this to look absolutely accurate. At least as accurate as I can get it to be though. Something feels to be going AYI in here, I need to fix that. Okay. Okay, let's just carry on. I think I'll leave this as it is. Let's add them. Um, Um, let's 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 experiment. Let's add a coil. Let's see what this does. Let's add a coil effect to this. Hide all of this. Okay, this is looking quite interesting. The coil effect looks quite interesting. But what? Simple is. Some weird, I'm trying to figure out this weird, this weird strand in here. But I like how this gives an, gives an interesting look to it though. Let's see how we can... Uh, let's see if we can randomize this. Now, do a quick save. Let's randomize the marks instead. Something in here is going away. By by, I strongly believe it's from the curve. Strongly believe it's from the curves. And from you guys, rather, there's one particular shape going a wire in here. Is this, is this this? Let's let's get some directionality to this instead. Then add add one here.
scale this down but this this needs to be fixed this needs to that needs to be fixed but my best guess is my, my second best guess is that second best guess um let's hide this for now let's go in here oh crap doing that again uh in here let's look at our marks fantastic Fantastic, isn't that great? 